Have you seen the newspapers scattered around campus labeled The Voice? Have you read some of the stories put together by students here at Norwalk Community College? How would you like to meet the hand behind the curtain that shuts the truth out into the public spotlight for all students and faculty to see? Find out who on today's edition of Person to Person. was my first love, poetry, short stories, that kind of thing. And then I realized, well, you know, you're never going to make money doing that. But I want to, you know, use my, writing as a, use my writing as a way to make money, so I entered the journalism field. Today on Person to Person, we get to meet the person who, behind the scenes, brings current events here at NCC out into the limelight for all of the students and faculty to see. Through the Voice student publication, this editor-in-chief puts together the stories, features, and editorials to keep us all informed about the current events. I would now like to introduce to you Natalie Accardi. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, as mentioned before, I'm the editor-in-chief of the newspaper, Natalie Accardi. Um, my love of writing came from my love of reading, so I began uh, reading a lot. I was an avid reader as a child. And then I thought, hey, I want to create stories that inspire other people. Yeah. So I, that's a little bit about me. So definitely for the purpose of inspiring others. Yes. That's really nice. Um, when did you join The Voice and why? I joined The Voice about, this is my third semester um, on The Voice, and I joined it because it was a requirement for my major, which is journalism. As a, it's a class in a club. Mm -hmm. And then I stayed because you're not going to learn how to be a journalist if you're not part of a newspaper. I mean how are you going to get those skills. Right. So I ended up staying. Can you tell us a little bit about The Voice itself? Well, The Voice is a student-run newspaper. We have an advisor, but she doesn't have any say in what goes in. We can ask her questions if we're confused, but we run it. Um, we, have article, we have stories covering events here at NCC, such as I just covered an event about Joshua Davis, who wrote Spare Parts. Um, we'll cover events that like clubs sponsor, and we'll just often um, have a feature um, opinions or we'll feature articles and opinion articles about anything this writer wants to really write about. There's a lot of freedom in that. Nice. You mentioned that you were editor-in-chief. How did you get that title? I got that title as an application process for all editor positions. Um, you hand in your resume and then you write about a one-page letter saying why you're qualified, what you want to do, things that you would change. What are your responsibilities as editor-in-chief? My main responsibility is making sure that my other editors are staying on top of their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So I check in with them and make sure that they have story ideas, that they have sources, that they have word counts. Um, although we suggest stories, we often, we have our staff members suggest stories to us, so we don't necessarily dictate what our writers write about. So it's like teamwork though. Yeah, and then I have to put the paper together in InDesign. Okay. And then Can you tell us about a production or how writing an article goes about at Voice? Yes. We ha our first, uh, after we have an issue out the next, ish the next Monday, the following Monday, we distribute the paper and then we suggest new story ideas right away. We start off, you know, and then, um, <laughs> and then, shit, uh, and then we, we give our staff these story ideas they pick what they want or what we feel that they are capable of doing. I mean, you don't want to give a big story to a new member. Right. We also have to be careful with that. And then we check up on them and then we have our first press night, which is usually for opinions and features articles because those are usually easier to write. For news articles, you know, you have to contact your sources, set up interviews, transcribe the actual interviews. It's a whole thing. Right. And then their second press night are usually when news stories are due. And as long as things are good, the grammar is good, AP style is good, from there the editors and I, we go into our little office and we actually start putting the paper together, the, together on the computer. What are the stories that you write about themselves? We write about a wide range of topics, like I mentioned before, events happening here at NCC. If it's an opinion article or a feature, it might be about, it might be a film review of somebody's favorite film, it might be their thoughts on the 
presidential you know, campaigns of Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Donald Trump. It could be really anything. Do you think The Voice does any good for the student body? I think it does. Um, we inform a lot of students about topics they wouldn't really know about otherwise. Mm. Um, for example, I recently wrote a piece about the bridge that are going to be connecting our two campuses and a lot of students didn't know about that and when I talked to students that actually read the article they were actually concerned like they wanted to be part of this process. They felt uninformed and well, not included in something that's affecting them, affecting their community. And now do you have any advice for budding reporters or future voice contributors? Always keep writing and uh, don't expect your first couple of articles to be good. I looked through my portfolio from my first semester and was like, did I write this? Because <laughs> you grow so much yeah. as you continue to contribute to the newspaper, as you continue to listen to the criticisms of your fellow staff members. Um, don't expect to be perfect, really, is the thing. To always keep writing and to be, to be thorough, to not just ask the, you know, the basic five W's, who, what, when, where, why, how. Ask interesting questions. Make sure you get names right. Be very careful. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, today you got to meet Natalie Accardi. She is the editor-in-chief of Voice Student Newspaper and will continue to play a part in the community through leadership of the paper. So next time you see an issue of The Voice lying on one of the common tables, maybe we'll pick it up and give it a read. <coughs> and if you want to help write some of these stories, drop by The Voice at East 115 on Mondays and Wednesdays from 4 to 6. Thank you and good day. Thank you for joining us for Person to Person with your host, Isabel Serpine, and guest, Natalie Accardi. I'm your announcer, Leslie Bouchard. We hope that you enjoyed today's edition of Person to Person. This is a Norwalk Community College production.